My name is Karin from the Tech Pro, and today we're going to continue from where we stopped on Spring Security. And in the previous lesson, we created a user entity. Uh, now, the step four says configure authentication provider, but I actually would like to jump to step six so that we create a repository. And remember that if you have data in the database and you want to access this data in the database and you have a database setup, you also need a repository. That is a standard. So I like to create a repository because that is going to be easier for us to do at this point. So if I click on, on this create repository, for some reason it doesn't crawl. So that should be step six, create the repository. So this is going to be a very short one. Um, the repository we are going to create, we are going to create it inside the repository's package and just go to right click and say new. Uh, also, remember that a repository is an interface. So just say create a new interface and I'm going to call it user repository, user repository, uh, user repository. Okay, so I'm missing out something, no. So this user repository is going to extend JPA repository. The reason is because we, we need to have functionalities to perform uh, all the crude operations that are needed to be performed on a, a database. So I stand JPA repository and just say finish. Again, you have this uh, code snippet here in my website, so you can copy it and paste, but I always recommend you type it in yourself. So this repository is going to work with an entity user and the ID uh, is going to be long. You can also use integer as well, it doesn't matter. So, so user, we have to import the package from here, yeah, the model, from model, all right. Now we want to get these user details by the username. So normally we have, in a repository, we have find by ID, we have uh, uh, find one, we have find all, we have, it, we have save, we have delete, but we don't have find by username. So to, to have that, that method, we simply add uh, user find by username. So now this is, this pattern has to be followed. So now I have find by and then I have username. This is the field you want to find by. So if we specify the username, we should be able to get this record, more like get the password. So we give it the username, string username. All right. So I'm going to just save. All right. So this is the much we can do. So we've created our repository. I want to keep it simple and I'm going to actually stop here. And the next thing we are going to do is to now work with uh, the service. We are now going to create the service layer. I would like to thank you for viewing and also rem remember to subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you in the next part, which, is, which will be part six.